point clouds for SOLIDWORKS. A line. Here you can see I've loaded a point cloud and applied colour. And it's it's not straight to these planes here. So if I just come out here, so the front plane. Um, it may even be rotated incorrectly. There's a top plane. Um, so no, the, po the point cloud's not aligned correctly. And that's clear to see. So what we could do here is I'm going to use this align tool here. It's called align there and it's under this section and that's under the point clouds tab. So once loaded, uh, first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to select line and turn this on. So the pen is now slightly smaller and it has a, a board around it. That means we're going to add a line and we also need to make sure we're in 3D sketch mode. So accurately as possible, although I'm going to do this quickly. I'm going to add a line. Um, I double clicked to finish that. Just going to turn that off for a second. Now we can just carry on moving around. Um, I'm going to do a vertical line. Always worth making sure the point cloud is dense enough here. Um, you can do this with the point size. Is I don't want to end up drawing a vertical line here and selecting points behind it. That would then not be a vertical line. I'm going to try and demonstrate that now. So line is selected. Reselect the pen, which is add. Do a vertical line here. Once I'm happy, double click. Um, turn the pen off again, that way I can manipulate here. Now I can clearly see that I did not select points through this pipe. Um, and just rechecking the ground one here, the one, the horizontal one, sorry. Yes, I'm happy with that. So once I have those, make sure the pen's off. So select the line and using the shift key, I'm selecting the vertical. So horizontal selected first and then vertical using the shift key. Use the align option. Now the point cloud has moved and already, just looking here, I'm pretty happy with the results to be honest. Um, yes it may not be orientated correctly but it does seem squared up to the planes. So looking here, there's my top plane. Point cloud looks to be upside down. Um, I just need to rotate around the x-axis so come over to here I'm using this here to see which um, axis I need to rotate so that's the x x is selected could be any of those but in this case it's x now if I rotate that 180 degrees which is the flip option or I could have done 90 degree rotations uh, the flip one just did save me clicking twice um, if we come in now, we can see that this looks very good. It's squared up. So the one last thing I could do in a workflow here is coming to the center. Um, we have shown this video before, but it's the origin option. Select points. Select the pen. Pen is highlighted here. Uh, roughly in the center of the point cloud. You could spend more time to do that correctly. Um, it's just make sure that it's highlighted in blue, which it is, and click Origin. Now you can see the point cloud is in the center here of our planes and is squared up correctly. So if I just accept these changes here, if I go to top, right plane, it is perfect. Okay. So that was using the Align option and I finished off with the Origin which is shown in a separate video.